What's going on with Britain's bowels? In case you've ever wondered the answer to that question, you're about to find out. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Will Bolsowitz. I am the US Medical Director of ZOE, and I am super excited to share with you the results from the ZOE Health Study Big Poo Review. This is a study with 142,768 people, and if you were one of them, I want to take a quick moment to say thank you. Because it's with your help that we have created, by far, the largest study ever conducted into people's bowel habits. And speaking as a gastroenterologist, this is going to make a difference in our ability to identify and help the people who suffer with bowel disorders. So I want to thank you for that. And in this brief video, we're going to talk through some of the results and I think you're gonna find them very interesting. So let's get a sense for the overall population of people who contributed to the Zoe Health Study Big Poo Review. First of all, uh, the gender distribution. We have 110,627 people who describe their gender as female, 32,023 people who describe their gender as male, and 118 people who describe their gender as other. In terms of age distribution, uh, we saw people beginning at age 18, that was the youngest person in the study uh, due to restrictions, but spanning the entire lifespan, many different ages. So 6,944 people were between the ages of 18 and 32. 14,853 people were between the ages of 33 and 43. 43,000 888 people between the ages of 44 and 58. And the largest uh, group, making up more than half of the study, was 76,886 people that were age 58 or older. In terms of the location, we had people across the entire United Kingdom, uh, but there were a few specific locations that were represented at a higher rate than others. So we had 1,585 people from Leeds, 1,585 people from Wiltshire, and 1,363 people from Cornwall. How often were people pooping? Well, uh, more than half of the people within the Big Poo Review report that they poo at least once a day. So there were 54% of people in the Big Poo Review who report that they're pooing at least once a day. We, as a gastroenterologist, we often look at uh, sort of a threshold of three poos per day versus three poos per week. And if you're within this threshold, this is considered the normal range. And so if we were to say what, what percentage of people in the Big Poo Review fit within this normal range of somewhere between three poos a day and three poos a week, it is 92.7% of people in the Big Poo Review. In terms of those who poo less than once a week, this was quite rare, 0.38%, uh, so about four out of a thousand people are pooing less than once per week. In terms of those who are pooing more than five times per day, again, this is not uh, very common, 0.68% of people within the Big Poo Review or about seven out of a thousand are pooing more than five times per day. One of the ways in which we assess a person's bowel movement is using the Bristol stool scale. Now the Bristol stool scale will break bowel movements into seven distinct types and there's a picture with each of the seven types. Type four is considered to be a normal bowel movement and this is a sausage shaped, soft but formed bowel movement. And in the Big Poo review, we found that 66% of people we're having a type four bowel movement. This is the most common type of all the types of bowel movements that people had in the Big Poo Review. Um, that being said, we uh, also found that about 21% of people are constipated. So this includes a type one bowel movement or a type two bowel movement. These are two sort of general uh, forms that people who suffer with constipation may experience. And again, this is a pretty significant issue for the entire country, considering that more than one in five people are meeting these uh, criteria for constipation just based upon the way that their stool appears in the toilet bowl. Constipation did appear to be more common among those who are female. Now, if you look at poo frequency across the entire 
uh, study, there did not seem to be a very big difference in terms of gender distribution. So in other words, how often you poo seems to be pretty similar amongst uh, those who um, classify themselves as male versus female. But the stool type or form from the Bristol stool scale does seem to skew more towards constipation among women. You're probably wondering who is pooing the most in the UK, and I actually have an answer for that question. So what we're looking at here is a heat map. Looking across the entirety of the UK, we have coded the frequency of poo with specific colors. What you will see is that those who poo more frequently will have a yellow or bright green color. And those who are pooing less frequency will have a dark, deep blue color. The average number of poos per day in the UK is 1.66. So most people in the UK are going somewhere between one and two times a day, um, with the average person being more than one and a half times per day. Now, if we look at Thanet, which is a district in Kent, uh, this is the place where you will find that pe poo people are pooing the most often. So the average person in Thana is pooping 1.86 times per day. So this is significantly more than uh, what you see across the, the UK in terms of average. And on the flip side, there is Bridgend. So if you look at Bridgend, which is in Wales, they have the average, the lowest average number of poos per day, which is 1.49. So they are going less than one and a half times per day. And again, this is substantially different than uh, the normal amount, which is 1.66. How about when do people poo? I'm gonna show you a bar graph. And what you're gonna see is that for each of these particular times that a person could poo, uh, I'm gonna tell you the percent of the population that is pooing at that particular point in the day. And what you will find is that the most common time for people to poo is after breakfast more than 60% of people report that they poo after breakfast. So that apparently is a great time to have a number two. Um, the second most common time to have a poo is just after waking up. About one in three people are having a bowel movement or pooing just after waking up. Now, the rest of the times are rather uncommon, but there were a significant number of people who report that when they poo is random. So about 17% of people report that when they poo is random. And this answer is kind of interesting when we look at the gender breakdown of this answer, a random time of pooing. Because what we find is that it's more common for women or females to report that uh, they poo at a random time. About 18% of females report pooing at random times, whereas just 12% of males report pooing at random times. In terms of age, uh, there doesn't seem to be any significant variation in terms of when people poo based upon your age. So whether you're 18 or you're 85 years old, it seems that after breakfast is a common time for people to go have a poo. All right, so in conclusion, we found that the majority of you fall within the normal range of three bowel movements a day and three bowel movements a week. Over half of you have a bowel movement every day. And the average number of bowel movements per day is somewhere between one and two, with most of you being more than one and a half bowel movements per day. Now, that being said, uh, don't worry if you are not in the normal range because at the end of the day, there's a huge distribution and what we have learned from this study is that many people poo in different ways. In terms of when you go, uh, the majority of you poo sometime in the morning. This could be when you wake up or it could be after your breakfast. And it makes you wonder, like, is this coffee that is driving this? Is it circadian rhythm and our circadian rhythm manifesting in our gut? When we look across the genders, there seems to be increased frequency of random poos among uh, females. And so why is that? Perhaps this has something to do with the menstrual cycle and variation in terms of how we poo based upon where you are in the phase of the in the, in the multiple phases of the menstrual cycle. Nonetheless, uh, these are our early results from the Zoe Health Study Big Poo Review. 
and we will have certainly more to share in the future. Um, so we thank you for being a part of the Zoe Health Study. For those who participated, we couldn't have done it without you. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, that way you can be informed as soon as a video goes live. Pr please share the Zoe Health Study app with your friends and family and tell them about uh, what we're doing because this is how we get the word out and we contribute to science. Keep an eye out on our website and our app for updates that will continue to come. Please continue to support science and keep logging. Thank you so much for being a part of the Zoe Health Study Big Poo Review.